Hey Water Signs, it's me Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to go ahead and do your guys' weekly reading for the week of the 7th to the 13th. It's going to be a general reading. If love comes out, um, it can probably come out in your reading, so just kind of be aware. I'm going to mostly focus on, I will do romance cards in the reading, so love will kind of peep out a little bit. But it's mostly going to see kind of what's going on this week with you, what's happening, what's to come, what's going on, all that good stuff, okay? Uh, make sure to watch for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or cross watch. Okay, and then also uh, just watch whatever part, you know, works for you. If it doesn't, then you don't have to watch it. Um, make sure that you do like the video if it resonates with you. I'll have it in the description box, each sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, in that order. Just click on it. It'll be like right there and you click on it. Um, if you would like to donate to my Cash App for my donations for my channel, it'll be in the description box under the um, timings of the video. Okay, so if you guys want to do that, you guys can. No obligation. But it's there because we would like to do that. Okay? So let's go ahead and start with Cancer. I'm getting in it. Okay? I don't know why I felt like a boost of energy. So maybe you guys are really feeling yourself this week. Okay? Let's go ahead and see what's coming for you guys, Cancer. Stand your ground in reverse. Okay? So not fighting for yourself. Maybe just not wanting to fight in general. Harmony. Yeah, I feel like you don't want to fight with somebody anymore. You're wanting to have balance with somebody here. Okay, if you were fighting with them, like you guys were always like standing up for yourself, fighting for yourself. Okay, it's like now it's like fulfillment of wishes. This person makes you happy. You want to have balance with her. Yeah, because the balance is under that. I didn't even know that card was under that. Prosperity, victory, and success. Yeah, base chakra. Wanting to start over. Crown chakra. Yeah, I really like this reading. You guys are feeling really fulfilled and happy, and I feel like it's because of somebody in your life currently. Okay, you guys are not wanting to fight for this connection or, or like, you know what I mean, like fight against it. Like you're wanting to work on it, be with this person. Alright, let's see what else is coming. So, so far, that's a good energy. Okay, we have house. Okay, so really focusing on your house or where you live at. Let me get one more. Okay, official person. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody that's in the Navy or somebody that's just, you know, well known by people. Okay, that could be an influence. Maybe your father or your like family members, like really like in the service or something. We have thoughts too, so you guys are really thinking about something. Okay. Or maybe you're an official person of you. Maybe a lot of people think highly of you. That could be it as well. Okay, we have not your typical love story. Yeah, you have some kind of different relationship here with somebody that's it's just different than you've ever dealt with. And that's why you're just wanting to work on it. Right, and can you get my card? Okay, and then we have every love song sounds like us. Yeah, so there's somebody that you think about a lot that, you know, it's just it's different. The card was ready to surrender. That's what fell on the floor. Ready to surrender. So glad we did it. I love your guys' reading. This is beautiful. It's like you're finally coming to terms. Okay, retreat in reverse. Not wanting to be um, separated from somebody anymore. Okay, maybe you were disconnected. It's like you're not wanting to do that anymore. Okay, reconciliation. Wanting to get back with somebody. Calling in your soulmate. Chemistry. Yeah. Okay, not, and then after that, we free yourself reverse. You're not able to let this person go. All right, you have a really strong connection. This is a really beautiful reading. Like you have a really strong connection with somebody. You don't want to let them go. Okay, it could be a Capricorn. We got Scorpio. And then fire after that. Okay. So they could have that in their chart heavily somewhere. Alright, let's clarify. So why stay in your ground reversed? Okay, the sun in reverse. Because you're unhappy where things are at in your life. Okay, you can hide a sword reverse. Maybe you're unhappy that you guys fought with this person recently or you and this person are in much communication okay and it's like maybe you feel like you came off too confrontational all right and it's like maybe you're wanting to fix things bring more balance then we have the harmony card yeah the king of wands you're very attracted to this person you have a lot of passion for them a lot of love a lot of feelings ace of cups reverse but you guys are like kind of in a feeling of things aren't really moving forward in regards to your love okay or, or things are blocked in regards to love why is house here? Okay, Ace of Wands. So that could go many ways. So I'm thinking 
definitely you're wanting to bring this person over to your house and you know what you know what I mean I feel like you're wanting to have this person come over this week seven of cups reverse and I feel like you don't have any other options I feel like that's your person that you want to be with okay and I feel like you're wanting to invite them over and you know what I mean maybe like Netflix and chill you know um official person okay nine of cups reverse you could be not feeling happy where you are maybe you're not feeling like an official person where you work at you're not feeling official you're feeling unhappy like at your workplace maybe four of pentacles reverse could feel like you're losing money or not feeling good enough okay uh not your typical love story maybe this person really helps you when you've been kind of down and out okay this person helps you like feel better about yourself empress reverse and the magician okay i feel like you're still wanting to manifest this person because maybe you and them Love you too. There's not much growth with you and this person, or things aren't really moving forward. But it's like you're you see this person in a good way, but it's like really wanting to like manifest this person in your life or manifest this to go somewhere like further. Okay, ready to surrender. Maybe the situation was you were just too resistant towards this, and now it's like you need to let down that resisting. Okay, seven of pentacles, you're willing to put in the work and effort. Okay, page of swords reverse. I feel like you spy on this person a lot, or you check out their social media a lot. You see, always want to see what they're up to. Especially if you feel like you've invested a lot of time into them. You want to make sure that you're, you know, really putting the work into something serious here. And it's not somebody that's on games or that's not, you know, willing to have what you want. Okay. Here. Okay, why is retreat here in reverse? So I feel like you're not wanting to be disconnected anymore from this person. Five of Cups reverse. You're wanting to move on from whatever happened in the past. Let it go. Six of Swords reverse. But you still have like a hard time letting something go or walking away from something. All right. The Five of Swords. Maybe you feel like there's still a lot you don't know about it. some situation or something here. You still need to let something go in order to have a new beginning. You need you need to know more clarity on something. Okay. Why is Capricorn energy here? Okay. Five of Swords. There could be. Somebody, like maybe a Capricorn this week, it doesn't have to be this person. There could be a Cap, bless you, could be a Capricorn this week that's not being, like, truthful. They could be lying to you about something. Ace of Pentacles, okay, they could be lying, not having good intentions about wanting to offer you something. Okay, it could be somebody at your, the workplace. Maybe they're wanting to offer, or act like they're going to help you in some kind of uh, financial situation. Maybe they feel like you've been lacking financially. But I don't feel like this person has good intentions. Three of Swords reversed. I don't know. All right, let's see what signs you guys could be dealing with. Yeah, guys. So we have here Scorpio, and then I had um, Capricorn. I have Leo, Earth energy, Air, Water, Earth, Taurus, Libra, Gemini. Okay, I got Fire. All right, so let me write down your guys' reading real quick. But yeah, you guys have a good one. So like you're not wanting to be resistant towards somebody anymore. You're wanting to work on things, have balance, have harmony. I love you, mommy. I love you. Okay. Let me go ahead now and do a six card spread and see what else is happening this week for you guys. Then it'd be done. Well, I have two other signs to do, buddy. Then it done? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get so six card spread. Mm -hmm. Let's get a six card spread for Cancer, see what's going on this week. But, uh, Alright, so we have two of cups reversed. Okay, the ace of wands reversed, the death reversed, the tower, okay, the devil, ooh, ten of pentacles. Um, overall, we do have the king of cups reversed. I feel like you're kind of, like, upset about something here. Okay, maybe there's a disconnect with you and somebody, or you feel like it's not, the love's not mutual with you and somebody, but it's like you don't want things to be over because you have, like, a really strong connection with this person, but something's blocked this week. But I feel like your money, like, maybe really focusing on your finances, but... You know, you're wanting to, I feel like you're wanting to communicate with this person. Let me see, why is two of cups reversed? Could just feel like you're not getting the same love back. King of swords reversed. Maybe you feel like this person's mad at you. The hangman reversed. Okay. 
So you're getting a better perspective. Like you need to communicate with this person, but you don't know what to say to them. All right, Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, Page of Swords. Like I said, I feel like you want to communicate with this person because things are kind of blocked. Or you guys maybe haven't been, been I don't want to make it sexual, but maybe you guys haven't been intimate with this person in a while. And it's like you want to communicate. Not for like a one night stand or anything, but <laughs> it sounds terrible I'm saying this. But I feel like you just really desire this person and want to be with them. Seven of Pentacles reversed. You feel like you're wasting your time. Like you want to communicate, but you feel like things aren't really progressing. But you don't want them to be over with the death reversed. King of Cups reverse, but I feel like you're getting really like kind of your feelings are all over the place, kind of getting mad here. Queen of Wands, okay, because you feel this, you see this person being really attractive. You want to have this person in your life, okay? The Tower, maybe you feel like things have changed between you and them. The Sun, okay, they still bring you happiness though. King of Wands reverse, but you don't feel like they chase you anymore. They don't really put in the work, okay? Or somebody doesn't put in the work anymore. Why is the Devil here? Okay, the temperance. Okay, this, so maybe this person helps balance you out. Maybe you guys have some kind of, you know, something addicting kind of happening. Or you're just really drawn to this person because they, you know, not really obsessed, but you guys are just like really drawn to this person because they level you out. They keep you balanced. The world, okay, you guys want to have a new beginning with this person. Or you want things to be like new, okay, because maybe it was all, because I feel like you do want something more long term here at the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you don't want it to be just like a sex-based relationship. Okay, Ten of Wands. Wanting to let go all the hard work that was once put in. Page of Cups reversed. I don't know, Ace of Swords reversed. Uh, I feel like there's still some things you don't know or some things that still need to be said that haven't been said yet. Okay, and there's some apology that's not being... Somebody's not apologizing for something. I don't know if it's your person or you. Could be doing the fire sign, water... I got Scorpio, Capricorn, Scorpio twice, Earth, Capricorn, Water, Fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces. Okay, so when you guys have a decent reading, I just, I would see what happens this week, okay? Alright, let's do Scorpio at 12.30. Hey Brayden, can you give me another incense stick? Why? It's out. How's it out? All right, one second. I'm going to go ahead and get another. No, I, I will. Sorry, guys. He likes to put the incense in the holder. <laughs> and then I'll start Scorpio. Sorry, guys. One second. I'll start Scorpio in a minute. Here. Just do one. Put it in the holder. I got to film. Oh, it's backwards. Here. Thank you. He gets mad if I don't let him, so so I knew I had to call him in to let him know. Wait, okay. Can I tell? You already smelled it before. When? When was it? It's the same one I've been using, buddy. Well, I didn't smell it. Here, smell the box. It smells the same. There. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do Scorpio. Sorry, guys. That was a little longer than I expected. Okay. I'm gonna blow out. Lipstick. And let's go out of sugar. All right, let's see Scorpio. What's going on this week of the seventh to the thirteenth? Okay, let's we have authority. Let's go down. Okay, so we have authority. Really taking action this week. We got Aries energy. Um, the waiting game. Something you're being patient on or waiting for. Okay, fulfillment of wishes. Maybe feeling like if you wait on something that you're gonna be happy. Okay, you're patiently Why waiting. Why is it's just how it is. Wanting to take action, okay? okay. I need more coffee. They Let's see, Scorpio, what else is going on? Okay, mature woman. So you could be dealing with like a mother or somebody this week or having some kind of issue with like an older woman. Okay, we also have main male. Okay, so. Could be, like, doesn't have to be, like, an older man. Could be, like, somebody, like, a friend, okay? Or, like, a boyfriend, husband, or if you are a, a Scorpio man watching this, it could be, like, a friend of yours. Okay, we also have mature man, so something to do with mother and father. Okay? So you guys could be having problems, maybe, with your parents. Okay. Let's see what else.
Let's see what else, Scorpio. Alright, so living in fear. There's something you're fearing here. All truth will be revealed. You're waiting on something to be revealed. Time is up. Feeling like you're waiting too long for something here. But it's like you're still trying to be patient. Let's see what's going on romantically. Okay, worth waiting for reversed. I feel like you're giving up on something. Like you're wanting to be patient and wait, but you're also, yeah, you're trying to keep an open mind, but it's like you're not really wanting. Because after that, we have to stay optimistic about your love life reversed. You're kind of having a hard time being patient or being positive. All right, so what signs or elements could you guys be dealing with this week? Okay, it could be a Virgo. We got Scorpio on the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify that. It could be dealing with an Aries as well because we have the authority card. All right, so why is authority here? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Really like working on yourself this week, focusing on your finances, taking action at work. Maybe you're... Um, Put in more hours, okay? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Also, there's somebody here, something that you love to really focus on family or like your job, something that you're really wanting to take action towards. Okay, it could be like your family, your work, a lot of things you're really caring about here. Okay, the waiting game. Okay, Nine of Wands. Wanting to be kind of taking action towards something, but also being patient. Set Eight of Pentacles, really working on something, but also being kind of, you know, really quick moving, wanting to work on something really quickly. But trying to remain patient. Mature woman, why is that here? Six of Wands and the Justice. Brayden, can you get my card and hit the floor? All right, so we have the Six of Wands and the Upright and the Justice. So but try to make things fair maybe with your mother or like an older woman in your life. Could be a grandmother or somebody here. Thank you. Trying to make things right. Trying to be make things successful. Trying to be fair with somebody here. Or someone in your community. Could be even a next door neighbor, you know. Um, we have the main male card here. So let's see. Why is there main male here? Six of Swords. Having to walk away from somebody in your life. Some male figure, okay. Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Maybe this person drained you a lot or they took your energy. Took a lot of things from you. Or they're just taking a lot. There's like a lot of back and forth. A lot of, you know, this, maybe this person like juggles. There's somebody in your life that you're juggling. Like maybe you feel like you always have to help this person somehow. And it's just kind of too time consuming or tiring. Living in fear. Too many cards. Living in fear. What are you guys like scared about? Okay, nine of wands reverse. Trying to like overcome something here. Okay, five of cups reverse. Letting moving on from a situation, getting more, you know, like winning from something, you know, getting more clarity on something, letting something go. That's what you're scared of is like, you know, letting something go. It's like maybe you're avoiding to let something go, but you know you have to. All truth will be revealed. Ooh, what's that about? Okay, King of Wands, maybe that you've been like kind of seeing other people, okay? Maybe be that you're a player or you've been kind of intimate with other people. Okay, strength in reverse. Maybe like that's your way of coping with your like self esteem. Maybe you guys are having self esteem issues. And like your way of coping, like that's your secret is by like getting intimate with people kind of temporarily. Maybe that kind of helps you in the moment, you know what I mean? Um, worth waiting for reversed. And that's for some of you. It doesn't have to be for all of you. Worth waiting for reversed. Alright, the tower in reverse. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Something. You're avoiding something here that's like not going to be long term in your life. Because you just feel like it's not meant to happen. Like you're almost like telling yourself something's not meant to happen in your life. Okay, why is Virgo here? Okay, Page of Wands, Nine of Swords reversed. Maybe you guys are like coming towards a, a Virgo or like sending out some kind of message. Okay, maybe somebody that you thought about from the past, like in a good way. It's nothing like negative. Like you thought about this person from the past or thought about somebody before and it's like you're wanting to like take action. Maybe you never let this person go emotionally. Eight of Cups reversed. Could be someone definitely from your past here. All right, so let's see. You guys could be doing an Aries, Virgo. Um, I got Earth, I got Fire, Scorpio, Leo, Water, Air, Libra, Sagittarius, and Cancer. 
Let me write your guys' message down and I'll do a six card spread. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Six card spread with Scorpio. What's going on? Six card spread. What's going on with Scorpio? This week. Let's see what else we can get out of this week for you guys. Okay, Six of Pentacles reverse. Taking back your energy. Can of, Knight of Cups reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Page of Swords. Queen of Wands. Uh, the world reversed. Seven of Wands. Something here that you're kind of resisting here. Okay, take, taking back your energy. Not wanting to give your energy to something. Something you have to emotionally disconnect from. Not work towards anymore. There's some kind of cycle in your life you need to close out that you haven't. Okay, so why is Six of Pentacles reversed? Okay, the death in reverse. Something needs to end, but it hasn't ended yet. Eight of Swords reverse. Something here. I don't know if it's a transformation with yourself or something you have to let go of that you just can't disconnect from. You're trying to disconnect, but it's like a hard time letting it go. Like you've mentally let it go. You just need to physically let it go. Okay, Knight of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. Okay, you're still having some kind of emotional tie to something here. Justice reversed. Feel like something's not fair to you this week that needs to be fair. Something needs to be clarified. Okay. And I feel like it's got you kind of emotionally all over the place. Like kind of just like really like moody and mad about a situation you can't let go of. Okay. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Page of Cups. Some kind of apologies coming in. King of Swords. Somebody's maybe saying an apology. Maybe at the workplace or somebody that wasn't putting in the work anymore. Something here is going to happen. Some kind of apology. Page of Swords again. So. Page of Swords, yeah. Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. Somebody's uh, wanting to communicate about why they about why they couldn't emotionally open up or give to this, why they couldn't work on it. Okay, so whatever situation that is, somebody wants to apologize that they couldn't work on something or give to it. Queen of Wands. Okay, Queen of Swords reversed. And the Nine of Pentacles reversed. I feel like somebody that's like really drawn to you wants to be with you this week. Okay, maybe in a codependent situation, somebody you haven't talked to in a while, or someone that's just like really mad about how things went down, but they're wanting to take action, they're wanting to come towards you. World reverse, I feel like it's somebody you've been dealing with. Okay, someone you've been dealing with here is like still dealing with the tower, but things are going to change. Wheel of Fortune could change for the better. Okay, Four of Wands reverse. I don't know, maybe you're just deciding whether or not you want to give in to this person anymore. If you want luck to be on your side and go a different direction. Okay. So you guys could be dealing with um, an earth sign, water, air, fire, a fixed sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio. Alright, let's get ready to do Pisces. Alright, Pisces. All right, Pisces, what's going on this week? Pisces, what's going on this week for you guys? The 7th to the 13th. Okay, shadow here. So you guys are getting more shadow work on yourself. All right, hermit energy. Patience, okay, having more patience. 14 over 18. All right, then we have Passion Ignited Reverse. Having something kind of blocked here, okay? Okay, Wealthy Man. Could be dealing with a wealthy man or coming across a wealthy man. Okay, 
Okay, we also have change. So something's going to change here. Number 13, number 9. Okay, mature man. Something to do with your father, too. Your father, and then there's wealthy man, too. You guys could be coming in contact with somebody with money. But there's something about your father, too. Okay, observing every action. And then we have guilt for past actions and behaviors. Yeah, a lot of shadow work. You're doing a lot of work on yourself about the past. Healing your heart chakra. Having your heart be more open. Maybe you have a lot of guilt about, like, you and your father. You know, about, like, you and your dad maybe aren't in talk. What's going on romantically? Okay, retreat. Wanting to disconnect from the world. Okay, we keep an open mind on the bottom. All right, let's see what signs you guys could be dealing with this week. Okay, we have a Capricorn. Or they could be influenced. Got Virgo. That Earth energy on the other side. So definitely could be dealing with an Earth sign. Okay, so why Shadow here? Virgo energy again. So why is Shadow here? Okay, High Priestess. Using your intuition about something here. Ace of Swords. I feel like something needs to set, be said that hasn't been said. Something you've kept quiet needs to be revealed. Or you're getting more clarity on a situation. Okay. With patience. Okay. Page of Pentacles reversed. And the Emperor. Wanting to take action. Okay. But something's not being progressed. Or something's kind of not moving towards. It's like you're, something's not really moving, but it's okay. You're taking action, still really wanting it, but you're being patient this week. Why is wealthy man here? Ace of Cups. You have a lot of love for somebody that's a wealthy man or somebody that's kind of has money. Okay, Four of Pentacles. You've been holding on to this person. I feel like you already know them. Okay, I mean, not really that they're wealthy, but they could have like family that's wealthy or come of money from family. Change. Okay, King of Cups, Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, so maybe you just aren't really sure if you want to, you're feeling maybe defeated, like you put too much work into this. Okay, you have a lot of love for this person, but you feel like you've put a lot of work in. And you're feeling kind of defeated. Observing every action. Okay, Five of Pentacles reversed. Like seeing, like coming back, realizing like what happened in the past, what you did, Four of Swords reverse. Yeah, coming to realization, wanting to communicate about something that happened in the past, wanting to maybe talk to somebody from the past, realizing like what you did maybe was wrong. Maybe you, I feel like it's a lot of karma coming back. Like you're realizing a lot of things you did to people in the past, and it's like you're wanting to like have remorse or feel sorry that you did that. You know what I mean? Because we have guilt for past actions, so it's like you're realizing things you did to people in the past. Okay, Queen of Wands. And I feel like you're, like, wanting to fix it in some way. You have the desire to, like, fix it. Three of Wands reversed. But you could feel like, you know, the doors close on some of these situations. Like, basically, if it happened 20 years ago, what can you do? I mean, the only thing you can really do is message them on social media or talk to them. But you might feel like things are kind of, like, the doors close on some of the opportunities to have guilt. You know what I mean? Or to apologize. Like, I'm almost like I'm going to close that chapter because there's nothing else I can do. You know? Retreat. I think I feel like you're thinking a lot about it. Yeah. Ten of Wands reverse, strength reverse. Death. You're thinking a lot about things and it's like you're wanting to get away this week. Okay, you're wanting to have transformations grow. You're wanting to put an end to whatever happened in the past because it's really affecting your self esteem, affecting who you are. It's really putting taking a toll on you. It's making you feel, you know I feel like you're really thinking a lot about the past. Maybe because Mercury retrograde, you're thinking a lot about what happened in the past. Okay, and it's like you're really thinking about it to the point where you just want to disconnect and get away. Because it's just too heavy. Why is Capricorn here? Okay, Knight of Wands reverse and the Fool reverse. Okay, could just not take some kind of opportunity with, you know, you guys could have been intimate with a Capricorn and things never took off, okay? Or they're not going to take off. Seven of Swords, this person could be like um, lying to you about something. Or being like sneaky. Alright, so I don't know. Somebody could be sneaky about something. Not having good intentions. Okay, so we have Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio. We have all the elements here. Aries again. Alright, let me write down your guys' message.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guild. Retreat. And then Capricorn. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and do your as a six card spread. Yeah, so I'm not trying to be negative, guys, but I feel like you guys are really focusing on the past, thinking about things that happened, you know, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, you know, and I feel like it's really getting to you guys this week. So uh, if that's the case, I would try to just, you know, have good vibes, try to think positive. Maybe things from the past are resurfacing and you feel a lot of guilt. Okay, a lot of regrets. Everything's coming back to haunt you, basically. Alright, two of cups reversed. Okay, death reversed. Eight of wands reversed. Hayman reversed. The devil. Okay, nine of cups. Wanting to be fulfilled this week is your overall goal. Wanting to be happy. We have the eight of swords, but you're trapped in your head. Okay? Um, something toxic here is still lingering in your life. Something that's kind of really, not really toxic, but it's kind of just making it hard for you to be fulfilled or happy. So I'm going to disconnect with you and somebody here. But I don't feel like it's over, but I feel like you guys are just kind of mutually just kind of, I don't know, not really feeling it. Two of Cups reverse. We have the Sun in reverse. There's a lot of unhappiness between you and somebody here. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. But I feel like, you know, things are destined to maybe take off in a different direction. But you guys are just like unhappy where things are going right now. Death reversed. Okay, the three of wands. You're still waiting for something here. King of wands reversed. Waiting for this person to make a move. Waiting for this person to approach you. It could be a fire sign. Eight of wands reversed. But it's like, you guys don't have good communication. Or you guys are like at a distance with each other. Three of pentacles. Okay, but you guys still could be like wanting to make things work. Trying to uh, figure something out here. The hair faint. Disgusting. You know, like disgusting having a relationship. But there's like some kind of other influence in the way, some third party influence. Maybe family or work. Handman reverse, getting more understanding. Eight of Swords reverse. Something here you're understanding and you're needing to like release it. Two of Cups. Maybe you're getting more understanding about you and this person. Getting more like knowledge, more clarity. All right, why is the devil here? Okay, the Emperor's reverse. Something's making it where you can't grow. There's something here preventing you from growing, some kind of toxic. Or bad situation right now this week that's making you where you can't grow or you're kind of coming off kind of um, moody you're not really nurturing or caring you're kind of moody and mad and kind of all over the place okay with the magician okay I almost feel like you need a man, man, something's manipulating you from growing is what I'm seeing somebody's purposely manipulating your growth so I don't know who that person is but somebody's like making it where you guys can't grow they have a hold on you somehow all right, Nine of Cups. I feel like you just want to be fulfilled this week. Be happy. Four of Cups. So something's blocking your happiness. Okay, the strength. Trying to be happy. Trying to have the confidence, success. But it's like something's blocking your happiness. Because you're just wanting to be fulfilled. But there is something lurking in the shadows that's blocking your happiness. Or something that's making you not happy. Okay? Because, you know, like you have the Nine of Cups. You're not completely happy. If you're completely fulfilled and happy, you'd have the Ten of Cups. Okay? But there's one cup missing. So... Six of Cups reverse. A lot of past situations that you're not able to move on from that's making you look upset and angry. Okay? So, nice buddy. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what signs you guys could be dealing with. I gotta get off of here real quick because he's riding himself up. So with um, water, we have um, water, fire, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, Leo, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, and Leo. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful week.